most wonderful time of the year, but it's still one of the more heartbreaking times of the year too. Uh, and Christmas actually gives you the answer to this. It, it goes on past sort of the, the celebrations and the festivities and the traditions. It is God who has become man. It is light who has come to dwell in the midst of darkness. The darkness would not overcome it. And so when your holidays are not what you had wished they were when they are a reminder of what is missing or what is wrong, when New Year's is, is quickly approaching and you are not sure that you can actually get any better despite everybody making resolutions every which way because, well, not because you don't want to, but just because you try and you fail and you are reminded of this every time you see somebody more successful. God answers heartbreak during the holidays with the promises that he makes. God became man not to make the world brighter, but to take upon himself that which is dark. He entered the world to take Mary's heartbreak. She would lose a son, and he brought that to nothing so that he could rise from the grave and embrace her in a way that death could no longer separate them, because even now she lives in him. We have a God who brings unity that is not simply bound in can we get along for at least a week, a year, but, but rather in him who has forgiven all of the sins that would drive us apart every which way, that trust would be broken, that relationships would be destroyed. He speaks a peace that surpasses all understanding and he brings you to his side and promises that you that you are not alone. You are not cut off from those who have fallen asleep because Christ has come to earth to redeem them. You are not cut off from those who are far away, but rather you can join uh, at the feast that has no end because he feeds you with his body and blood and all rejoices with angels and archangels and even all of the company of heaven. Heartbreak during the holidays is something that not only are you allowed to feel, but you're actually allowed to bring to the altar and lay bare and recognize that this is a place where God became man to answer it. You don't have to hide from these feelings during this time of year, but rather you can you can stand firm in Christ who has already conquered all of the things that, that, are, that are piling up. When you want to mourn and everybody else is happy, the very hymns that you sing are speaking to you peace that you need to hear, the, the carols that they sing, they're actually for you to listen and take comfort in. You don't have to simply pile up all of your joys if we could somehow cancel out the dark by at least for a week making everybody get along. Rather, you get to take everything that has been wrong the whole year long and recognize God became man. He came into earth to help with that stuff, to forgive your sins, to save you from death, and to grant you life and peace now and forever.